Welcome to the Manse. If you have a Bible, please look up John chapter 15 and verses 1 to 5. I'm going to read it to us, but if you see it with your eyes as well as hear it with your ears, you'll be doubly blessed. For this is the living Word of God, anointed and inspired by the Spirit of God uh, to be a blessing to us. The Bible says, Jesus says, I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Now let's praise God together with songs and music by Carolyn, Christine, Beth and Carolyn. Oh, glory to Jesus. 
Jesus alone. Jesus, to you we lift our eyes. Jesus, our glory and our prize. We adore you, behold you, our Savior ever true. Oh, Jesus, we turn our to you, oh Jesus, we turn our eyes to you. So how are you doing? How are you really doing? Let's take a moment just to stop and reflect and see what God might be saying and doing in our lives right now. Reality is often the midpoint between pessimism and optimism. Halfway between the highs and the lows is not a bad place to be. Some of us are going through a really good time, but we know those good times don't last. Others of us are going through a really bad time and it helps to know that those bad times don't last either. There are times when we feel like the branches on the vine in John chapter 15. Times when things are productive and fruitful and other times when we're going through a pruning and a cutting back. Don't get too excited by the highs or too demoralised by the lows. God is at work producing fruit and pruning our branches. God is with us in the good times and in the bad. Let's learn to flow with God through the ups and downs of life. Let's learn to stick close to Jesus through the different seasons of our life. And to abide in him, to remain with him. Probably we're doing better than we know. So how are you right now? How are you doing? What is God doing in your life, in you and through you? Don't get too high with the highs. Don't get too low with the lows. Sometimes middling is not too bad a place to be. Some church news. Uh, this weekend, Ali, our intern with Mission Links, travels back to America at the end of her internship with us and we continue to pray God's blessing on her. Uh, thank you to everyone who came to the church on Sunday to say farewell to Ali. Uh, church is open now on Sunday afternoons from four o'clock till six o'clock uh, for private prayer and uh, we put up some suggestions for prayer on the screen on the PowerPoint and we have musicians playing gentle, spiritual and uplifting music in the background. So if you want to come and join us, uh, come and pray in the holy place. One of the things you will notice if you do come to the church building is that there is building work going on. And uh, we uh, have seen that work going well on the outside of the building, on the west wall. And now that work has been transferred inside. And we hope that it will be completed in a few weeks time. A number of members have told me about some great resources online that you can check out uh, from the Keswick Convention or Message Trust Live. And uh, some great messages on there by some great servants of God and preachers of his word. And I commend them to you. And now some needs for prayer. Uh, would you remember Helen and Steve on the passing of Helen's father? And a number of others in our church going through difficult times physically or emotionally with their health. Uh, many of those needs will be on our church newsletter. Uh, please remember them in prayer when you read their needs. Please pray as we seek a, a part-time youth worker. Uh, the advert has gone out. We pray that God will lead the right person to come and help us in his work at Gilgal. The main building project to redevelop our worship centre and sanctuary 
has now gone out to tender. So again, would you pray that God will lead the right builder to come and give us the right price so that we can have a building that is useful for glorifying Jesus. Pray over our, our building needs. Continue also to pray for our online services. We're getting some great feedback from people all over the world, as well as from uh, around Porth Call and South Wales. But we want to see people coming to faith in Jesus. So pray that people's lives will be changed, that non-believers will start to believe and that believers will be blessed. And we also particularly this week, I'd ask you to pray for the situation in Hong Kong. If you were with our Zoom coffee and chat on Sunday morning, you would have heard David and Jane talking about their son uh, who lives in Hong Kong with his wife and uh, the difficulties there with the increasing encroachment of a communist China in the laws and the freedoms of its people. So please lift up these situations to our Father in your prayers this morning. And now let's come together to God in prayer. Father, we thank you that you are with us through the highs and the lows, on the good days and the bad. Help us, Lord, to rejoice in those times when we are being fruitful and productive, but also, Lord, to see your hand in those times when we feel cut back or pruned. Help us, Lord, to know you and to know your presence, Lord, uh, in the reality uh, that is neither in the highs alone or in the lows alone, but to know you, Lord, through everything, as our strength, as our support, as the God who loves us and cares for us, who blesses us and wants the best for us. So, Father, again, we pray, pour out your Holy Spirit in greater measure into our hearts and minds today. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Blessed be your name in the land that is plentiful, where your streams of abundance flow. Blessed be your name. And blessed be your name when I'm found in the desert place, though I walk through the wilderness. Blessed be your name. Every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to praise. And when the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your glorious name. Blessed be your name when the sun's shining down on me, when the world's all as it should be. Blessed be your name. And blessed be your name on the road marked with suffering, though there's pain in the offering. Blessed be your name. Every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to praise. And when the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your glorious name. Blessed be your name, you give and take away, you give and take away, my heart will choose to say, Lord, blessed be your name, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your name, blessed be the name of the Lord, 
blessed be your glory.